In this video, we're going to look at a few examples in converting time domain signals into their phasor forms. First, I just want to start with the general case. If we have a signal AFT equals magnitude of A times cosine of omega T plus V, the phasor form of this signal is pretty straightforward and can be written simply as magnitude of A times E to the JV. We have a signal of the form f of t equals magnitude of f sine of omega t plus v. This one is a little bit trickier. And we need to make use of the identity that sine of omega t equals cosine of omega t minus pi over 2. Using this identity, I can rewrite f of t as magnitude of f times cosine of omega t plus v minus pi over 2. Now I can write this in phasor form as magnitude of f times e to the j v minus pi over 2. I can also write this as minus j times the magnitude of f times e to the j v. Now let's take a look at a few examples. In this example, f of t equals 5 cosine of 3t plus pi over 6. You can write f in phasor form by taking the magnitude, which is 5, and the phase, which is pi over 6. In this example, y of t equals minus 2 cosine of 5t minus pi over 3. You can write y in phasor form as minus 2e to the minus j pi over 3. You can rewrite this minus sign here as e to the j pi. And therefore, we can rewrite y as 2 e to the minus j pi over 3 times e to the j pi. We can simplify this further and write y as 2 e to the j 2 pi over 3. In this example, a of t equals 3 sine of 3t plus pi over 4. You can immediately write the phasor for this using the general form I showed previously shown here. Alternatively, if you want to see how I got this, I can again make use of that trig identity and write this as 3 cosine 3t plus pi over 4 minus pi over 2 equals 3 cosine of 3t minus pi over 4. Now you can see that the phasor A equals 3 minus j pi over 4. The final example, b of t equals 4j sine of t. This one's a little tricky because it's not written in the form we're used to where it would be magnitude of b sine of omega t plus v. That's because this is a complex number here, whereas this is just the magnitude of a number. So I can rewrite this as 4 e to the j pi over 2 sine of t. I can then absorb this phase here into the sine expression uh, as shown here. Now this is written in the form we're familiar with. And I can write the phasor for b as 4 e to the j pi over 2 minus pi over 2, which gives us a phase angle of 0 degrees. So the phasor for b is just 4.